Carrot uh, Kokosin Valley channel. Um, this is a Marks train set with the original box. Um, a friend of mine, a gra my grandmother, and a friend of mine, he gave me this set probably five, six years ago. It's still in the original box. It's a Marks diesel diesel type electric train. Remote control. It's all in the original box. If you have seen this name before, Kansas City and Southern, um, they're still in business. This is a Marks diesel engine, and it has been ran before. I've ran it a, maybe a few times over the years, but it's been sitting in a box. So, there's the engine. There's the B unit. So, this is an F, and then this is the B. So, the whole thing goes together as a pair. Here's a Kansas City and Southern caboose. Your Lehigh Valley coal car. And the Erie flat car. Um, does come with a, an oval track, which is missing one piece. Here's a neat little thing, little uncoupling track sign. And you sit this right by that track piece, and it will tell you, oh, it's on time to uncouple. Cord's all original. Controller still works. It's brand new. You know, it just hasn't been played with in a long time. Um, directions for how to maintenance and clean the Marks engine. All original. How to wire it and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's you know, the same papers that usually come with these Marks trains. So here we go. We got all the paperwork, how to run the wire, the train. I think one of these pages opens up. That's the one. So the track plan, um, I do have a switch. I could do this one next time. I've got a few track pieces. I could do this one. i got enough switches to do that one. i got enough track to make a section of that. That maybe. This is common. I built, or try to build something like that someday. And it's, it's just a normal marks paper. It shows you what type of stuff to use. And, you know, it tells you... Uh, Curves, how many curves there is. Uncoupling track, crossover. Switches and all that. 027 to... Like, 032 gauge? Huh. Never heard of that. Or 034 gauge. So there's a neat little thing to learn about um, Mark's train. Um, I said one time to myself I would do a review on this train set. Um, leave a comment or a question below. Um, I gotta maintenance this locomotive. I gotta see if the light bulb needs fixed. I'm gonna take it out of its shell and clean it up a little bit. It is clean. It does run. I just don't know if the light bulb's burned out or not. But it is a nice engine. It will run. It runs like a champ. Um, I do have a steam engine. I do run some occasions. It's tin metal. And I love this engine. This was a cool train set. My grandmother said to never get rid of this set. It is a very rare set. I've only seen one or two of these in the past, but I've seen other ones with... I've never seen another train with this logo on it. I've only seen the real one in real life. Not this type of diesel, but the the Dash 40s. So I've seen a lot of those. I love it. It says uh, 54 on the side. Neat thing, there's a note on the back of the box. It says, Recent gift for son in 1956. So this is a very old train set. It's from the 50s, but it is a very old train set. It's not bad as an antique, um, but I love it. It's a neat train. We'll see you guys in the next video. This is just part one. We'll see you later. Bye. This is Kokosing Valley signing out.